Dee's Playroom. I am, of course, Dee. Thanks so much for stopping by to watch me unbox this very cool collection of Pokemon Swing vignettes. And I opened two blind box vignettes from Pokemon in a previous video. I will try to link that down below. I hope I remember. If not, go check out my playlist of uh, surprise toy openings. It should be in there. And I fell in love with them. Now that those two were from a different collection. I think it was from a collection that comes after this one. I believe this might be the first one, but I will double check that and look into it for you guys and leave it up on the screen if I can find out what collection this one is compared to what I had, I had already opened. But um, yes, I, I mean, I said to my husband, I said, oh, those are so awesome. And I, I mean, let's look and see what else they have out there. And so we did and we found this and it was like, you know what, let's do it, let's do it. This is super, super cool. So in this collection, I believe all the collections, they have six different vignettes to collect. Um, some of them will be in the name that we know here in North America, but some will be in Japanese. So it's very interesting that way too. I think that to me that adds a layer of awesomeness to it personally. So there you go to that because they have like a little uh, engraved kind of concept here at the bottom of the base where the vignette uh, stands. So here you can see we have um, Pikachu and Butterfree. Then we have, uh, here we have of course Charizard, which is super exciting. I mean, look at that. This artwork is just amazing. If you are just one to appreciate good artwork and something different, uh, and maybe, I mean, who isn't a Pokemon fan, but if you even aren't a Pokemon fan, you gotta appreciate the artwork. It is so, so well done. Here we have Drifloon and Mimikyu. Then we have over here Chandelure. Look at that, that is so cool. Oops, sorry, I hope it's in frame. There you go. Here we have Flygon, very cool as well. And then we have Mew, which is really neat because it almost looks like, I don't know, from here, I'm kind of holding it towards the camera, but it looks almost like Mew is in some sort of almost water droplet or something. It is very, very cool. So you wanna hang out with me and open up uh, these boxes and see what they look like? then hang tight because let's go. Now they do have this of course in a display box kind of form but I'm gonna open it from the top because we are not trying to sell this today in a store. Oh wow, there's something really exciting about opening a collection box. I have not had the pleasure of doing many of these openings but when I do, oh man, it is awesome. So we'll take this one here, we have of course six. So that means we will be getting all of them that I showed you on the box, but let's take a closer look and we also don't know which one we get in each box, right? So here's what the little individual box looks like. Sorry about the glare from my lights, but uh, I'm gonna bring you guys down. Maybe I can angle you a little differently, it'll help. There you go, maybe that's a bit better. But isn't the box even beautiful? Look at that. So cool. Okay, let's see which one we get first. In this box we get we have Pikachu and Butterfree. Oh, I hope I don't knock you guys. Sometimes I do that, I apologize. <laughs> I hit the camera because it's right above me here. Oh, so sweet. Ah, oh, look at that. Look at Pokemon, Pokemon. Oh, yeah, it is Pokemon, Dean, very good. Uh, I meant Pikachu is riding Butterfree and that is so cool. I mean, look. Adorable, right? And I guess this is the little hook that uh, loop that he will be hanging from the vignette to cause that swinging uh, aspect of this particular collection. And let's bring this out. Oh my goodness. Okay, so cute. Look at that. See, look at the beautiful, um, like pale green with the flowers. They look like a uh, what they call them, Shakura? Is that how you say it in uh, like a uh, cherry blossom in Japanese? I'm not sure anymore, I used to know it. But it is beautiful, look at them all. That's such detail. And then of course you have the name here, Pikachu and Butterfree, and it tells you the number. Very, very nice. So, oops, I gotta be careful. 
because there is going to be like a little plastic, almost invisible um, hook. Oh no, this one might not have that. There was in the ones I opened before, there was like a little clear plastic um, piece that you had to hang your character from and then off of the branch. But this one might just go on like this. But that doesn't make any sense either. No, that doesn't make any sense. Do you go like that? Maybe. Maybe this one just goes like that. Very interesting. See if I can bring you guys down a little further as I have. I think that's about as good as I can get. Because in here, uh, I used to kind of not see it in the packaging, but I don't see any here. So I think our swinging vignette in this particular case is going to be Pikachu and Butterfree hanging from this little um, uh, hook, <laughs> loop, uh, like that. So that's pretty cute. I hope that's right. I will keep my eye open, see if it's in here. No, not in the box. Okay, well, I'm gonna guess that that is the way it's supposed to be, and it is charming, it's so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna, whoops, so oh, no, you fell. We're gonna put him back on, and then we're gonna go and do our next box. Very cute, very different that it's hanging like this, but you know what, it is very secure, so I'm good with that. Actually, we'll put it right here so we can sort of still take a nice look at them as we open the other little vignettes here. All right, so box number two, which one do you think it'll be? I think it's gonna be Flygon. No, it's Chandelure, oh my goodness. Make sure there's nothing in the box. Oh my goodness, this is great. Now these ones don't have, I'm looking uh, for that little plastic piece, but oh, it looks like we did lose a little star or something missing here, but we can crazy glue that back on, that's okay. So I guess, interesting, some of these vignettes do not have that plastic piece. Hmm, that is interesting. Makes it a little easier actually, because sometimes that plastic piece that would connect that character to the um, almost tree or whatever kind of uh, prop they had was was hard to keep in the back of the character. It would kind of the character would fall off of it. So here we have Chandelure, looking awesome. Oh, I love it. Now they are a little bit pliable because they're almost like um, they're like a hard rubber, if you will, in like whatever they're made out of. But this is the more the more plasticky. It's kind of like a combination, but I love that. And of course, we have more of a dark kind of theme here with Chandelure. We have some nice purples going on with a nice dark tree. And we have the little, what is this on here? It almost, I don't know what they are. Are they supposed to be something particular? I'm not sure. Here, like I said, we lost a little star. Um, I can just put that, I think it's supposed to have gone here. So I'll just put that back afterwards. I'll make sure I, Put the star up here in a safe spot so I don't lose it. And let's hang up Chandelure. Now, his little hook is back here, or loophole. Let's see, does that work? I'm really not sure about this whole swinging thing. I feel like there should be something, but there is no hole to poke it in. So I guess this is the way you're supposed to do it. I'm gonna look on the box here, like here. You can see with uh, Charizard, we have this little plastic hook thing that goes, it will go into Charizard's back probably and hang him from his little uh, prop there. But, um, and here you can see uh, Nerfloon has something, uh, Flygon has a little something. Now it doesn't show Chandelure. Oh yeah, it does look, there's like a little plasticky thing in the back there but I'm not getting that in the box. And that sort of sucks, right? Because how am I gonna have a swing vignette when I don't have the ability to swing my character from... Oh, that's really weird. Okay, well, let's keep going. I'm gonna just put Chandelure over here, kind of prop him up against it. And I'm gonna have to probably maybe get some invisible thread to, to do that instead of that little plastic piece, that's really weird and disappointing. All right, well, let's keep going, let's keep going. Let's not let it dishearten us completely. Let's see if this one is going to be Mew. Let's guess that one. 
No. Okay, who do we have here? Here we have our friend. Oh, it is Drifloon. <laughs> oh no, do we have some pieces falling too? We do. What is going on with this particular set? This set's been through the ringer, I think. Okay, and so far I'm not seeing any plastic holder either. Do I need one? I do no. Okay, you know, let's just keep going. Keep going. I'm not gonna let it ruin this opening. Look at that. So there we have Drifloon and Mimikyu. Oh my goodness, how precious is that? Look at it, <laughs> so cute. I'm still in love with these, even if there's an issue here with uh, how to hang it. I will fix that. I will fix it. So we're gonna take out the base and prop. And we do, as I said, have some, some casualties here on the side because I think they're supposed to go, it looks definitely like one was supposed to go here. I'm gonna guess it was from this piece here. So I'm gonna have to crazy glue that on. And then we have a little spot here, which probably is where this piece was supposed to go, but that's not a big deal. I mean, that can happen. I can fix that, no problem. It still looks pretty awesome. We'll put these again away with the other bit that fell off and maybe I'll separate them. Sorry, I didn't mean to shake you guys. And look, it's very cool nonetheless. We have some awesome flowers, flowers, <laughs> I mean clouds with some stars. Stars, interesting. Because there were stars over here too. Oh, I just knocked over chandelier. Yeah, see? So they used a similar kind of theme there. And here it says Mimikyu and it has here the Japanese for, uh, word for Drifloon or what they, and then you're supposed to hang I think your flame just go kind of oh no are you gonna fall off on me okay so you know what i didn't have this kind of an issue with the other vignette and i'm trying to make the best of it but i'm kind of bummed here there's definitely something not so good going on and i'm trying to make the best of it but like look oh he keeps falling this was supposed to be an <laughs> oh no i'm trying to make the best of it yeah but Okay, so you guys don't want to hang on here. Hmm, you know what? Um, I'm not sure what to do here, but I'll have to figure out something. For now, we will put him to the side there. I don't know, I'm kind of bummed. Like, they're supposed to swing, it's pretty cool. I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. Um, I'm gonna go get the one that's in uh, the other room and show you exactly what I mean as to what's missing in case you haven't seen the other video. Be right back. Okay, so I am back and here I have from the one of the two blind boxes that I opened in the other vignette collection is Sylveon and look how gorgeous this is. Beautiful, right? Now, here's, whoops, <laughs> here's Sylveon and here's that plastic piece that I keep talking about that I felt was missing with these characters, but honestly, I think they must have done things differently in this collection because there's no hole in the back of the characters like this one has for a piece like that. See here, I'm gonna try to show you guys. Okay, you see there's the little hole that you are to put your little, we'll call it a peg, I guess, um, in the back of the character. See if I can do this again because it's not always easy. And Sylveon's kind of got all this stuff going on that is in the way a little bit. Um, yeah, that's the character then. Oh no, are you not? Gonna, I don't want to break it. Oh no. Then you swing the character from the, I call it the prop, but there's probably some a better term for what they're hanging from. And it, it literally swings. Like it's pretty cool, right? And I was like, wow, that's so great. But I don't see that happening, obviously, with these characters. And I do notice, too, that with this one, the kind of plaque here on the base, like the name, is done much nicer. So they prob this probably is from a collection like after this one because this is just more painted on rather than almost like a real plaque like the, the one I just showed you with Sylveon. Um, so I don't know, maybe they aren't coming with any plastic bits. Well, I mean, they're not coming with any plastic pegs or anything. So 
I'll have to figure out a way to, to kind of overcome that issue. And I will. So here we go. We're going to go on with the next one. Come on, buddy. Put you there. Oh, no. Hang on. You got your flu. Okay. Maybe this is going to be Charizard. <gasps> it is, too. I can't believe I actually got one right. That's crazy. Hello, Charizard. That is amazing. Yes. Charizard. Everyone loves Charizard, right? Charizard is very sought after. Oh my goodness, I love this. Look at this fiery, like, wave type thing. It almost looks like flames. I love that. They did a really good job with this. Wow. And here you can see that they have a different name than Charizard. It's Lizard, Lizardon? Lizardon or something like that. Which I think, again, adds a very interesting layer to the collection. And here's Charizard. <gasps> Isn't he amazing? Oh, it totally is amazing. I love him. That is so well done. Look at his wings, his tail with the flame on the end. <sighs> He's got such a fierce look to him. Oh, just great. Absolutely great. Love that. Now, here, I guess we're supposed to hang him off like that. And that works. But it's really interesting because if you look again on the box, I'm pretty certain I showed you earlier, there's a metal, or metal, there's that little peg I was showing you that Sylveon had. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's a little confusing, but I'm glad that we're able to get him at least up on the base. And we got a really cool looking little vignette there. So we have two more to get unbox so we obviously have flygon left and what's the other one again uh mew so let's see this one's gonna be mew what do you think mew or flygon mew two in a row guys two in a row <laughs> oh he's in like a little capsule that is awesome i love these even with the issues that's okay i I'm willing to work with that because I just love this. Oh my gosh, Mew is loose. Look at that. Mew is loose in this thing. That is weird. But I love it. Can you open it? No, probably best not to. It's glued together. So I'm guessing, obviously, we have a little uh, hook thing there to hang him off of. Look, it doesn't that look like water to you? That's amazing absolutely love this like i love the transparency that they have for some of these like the uh shark <laughs> charizard charizard one and the mew and i i don't know i love them all but i kind of have a special place in my heart for these trans partially transparent ones because i don't know it just adds this whole different layer to it and there we go we're going to take a better look head on after i open the other box too and we'll take a real up close look at our awesome swing vignettes and that's cool let's see that he's swinging good there like that i'll make it work i'll make it all work okay so our last box from our collection bittersweet this one's definitely fly gone <laughs> so here we go let's get them out oh wow that's awesome look at that he's big he's a big boy okay okay <gasps> I'm loving this. I don't know. I'm going to have to pick a favorite. You guys have to pick a favorite too. And let me know down below. Which vignette out of this collection is your favorite? Oh, wow. So here we have Flygon. And look at that. Just gorgeous. The greens, the red. Oh, look at his face. That is so cool. So, so cool. He's going to look great swinging off of this awesome i don't even know what it's made out of i can't even explain what this is but it is cool this display is just so cool it always reminds me like this curve part always makes me think of tim burton's um, nightmare before christmas <laughs> he had a lot of these kinds of uh, scenes oh my goodness that works so okay so if that all works then how come i can't get i'm gonna see what i can do about getting the other ones up and uh displayed perfectly <laughs> all right guys i'm gonna set them all up and we'll take one final look and wrap up this video yes okay everyone here they all are and you are witnessing 
all of them in their new glory. Yes, I took a few minutes and I glued on the little pieces that had fallen off. I glued on uh, Chandelure's star. I then glued on the two clouds that had fallen off of uh, our little display here, that little guy, and this one. It was real easy. And then I used, I don't know if you can tell you, let see if we're over. Um, there. You can see I put like a little rolled up glue dot um, behind some of these little uh, eye hooks, I guess I'll call them, uh, to keep the characters on a little more secure. I mean, obviously you can't play around with them, but it will fall off nonetheless. But if you do that, then at least they will stay pretty good when they're just kind of sitting there chilling and guarding your room. <laughs> but so yeah, this is the first collection I'm 99.9% uh, positive. And there are things that again, that they improved upon in their following collections. Cause you can see, like I'll show you again with Sylveon, uh, it's just a little nicely, nicer done, a little more polished. I like the base is a little bit better. Cause if you turn Sylveon over, it's a nice solid base. And then when you do that here, you have kind of like this kind of a base. So very different. Nonetheless though, it is amazingly cute. I love it. It is still something very unique and very different to have. You can check out, look at Flygon there. I mean, it's very interesting to me. I mean, I love Pikachu on Butterfree. That was just so clever and adorable. Chandler is looking like looking down, but that's okay because if you put Chandler up kind of on a little bit of a higher stand, then he's ominously looking down. Here we have Drifloon and Mimikyu. It's so cute to have more than one Pokemon character in these swing vignettes. Very, very, very nice. And Mew, that's very interesting that Mew is loosey goosey in that ball. Um, so they really had an interesting idea here in these swing vignettes and I'm super, super happy to have them. I'm gonna have to uh, divide them amongst my kids as to who gets what because they're gonna love these. And Charizard, I mean, I don't know, like favorite, I'm gonna have to pick one. Charizard is super cool, he's right up there to my favorite, but strangely enough, I'm gonna have to pick Pikachu and Butterfree as my favorite. There's something just so calming and pretty about it. I don't know. But then there's Charizard right after that and so on and so forth. What do you think? What's your favorite? Leave it in a comment down below. I would love to hear who your favorite is. And yeah, that about wraps it up for today's video. I sure hope you enjoyed this kind of uh, video. Let me know if you're really on board for these kind of collections. And if not, then hey, share with me what you would like to see. I am more than happy and looking forward to uh, checking out different things and looking for what you guys like as well. So until next time, you guys take care of yourselves and others. Keep playing and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.